Hey there, it's Cheryl with Distressed FX, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of the Distressed FX Plus app. The bottom right hand corner, there's a little icon with a white bird. I'm going to go ahead and click that. So, this is our editing area. At the bottom is our texture picker, and at the top is our gel picker, and those are mainly um, gradients some bokeh, some clouds, and light leaks. If you go over to the right, where it's there's a little suitcase at switch packs, you've got our pack picker. Here is um, more clouds, more bokeh, more lights. And then on the bottom row, if you go over to the right, same thing switch pack these are all of our different texture packs and they range from vintage to dust and scratches a lot of painterly effects uh, like some clouds some canvas showing through some words all different types you can always revert back to the original textures and that's um, at the top so these would be all the originals again and then if you go back so you basically bounce back and forth between each pack. But today I'm going to be focusing on the original textures that are in, in, the, uh, in the app already. So at this point you could pull in another picture by clicking the camera at the top left corner. But I'll just go ahead and edit with what we have right here. At the top, there's um, the, the far right is... Um, to save an image and then the little cog next to that lets you save it as a JPEG or a ping. You've got information that tells you about myself, the creator. We've got some credits in here of people that have helped us um, with the app, our beta testers and some artwork. And then we have um, a link to our website and there you can access um, if you need help. We have a help desk there. And the top right, in the top right is our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, which we really encourage you to follow those. Right now I'm gonna go ahead at the bottom and select a texture. So right now, if you see it's an overlay mode, a lot of people don't know that you can change that by just touching it. The top one is multiply which is um, pretty dark, but that comes in handy, and I'll show you how later. Overlay, which I tend to use the most. Hard light, which is pretty dramatic. And soft light, which is the least amount of texture. I'm gonna go ahead and select Multiply and X out. I could, at this point, add um, a gel at the top, but I'm just gonna keep it um, right there for now. Uh, over to the left in the center is a little water droplet that is a blur tool. Next to that is a little eraser tool that's for masking. I'm going to show you that real quick. When you have a texture that's a multiply and you want your main subject to stick out but you want that dark um, moody texture, this is really handy. So the little finger at the bottom, if you touch that, that sets up you for fingertips swiping or erasing or masking. The middle little um, gosh little switch there the good lever up and down controls the brush size and the one next to that controls the opacity how much you take away so I'm going to kind of just keep the brush small but open up the transparency or the opacity and I'm just going to take away a little bit away from the barn I want that to really pop out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna take away a little bit of the grass but keep a kind of a shadow um, for the barn you can see I lowered or I made the brush smaller I need to open that back up then I'm gonna hit the X at this point I'm gonna go over to the far right with the icon with the three levels and I'm going to go ahead and show you that the bottom you can lower the opacity of the texture the middle and the top right on the picture is for saturation the far right is 
contrast. The far left with the sun is brightness. And the top is a sharpening tool, which be real careful with that because you're going to go, you can go crazy with it. The, I, I barely use that. I'll just do a tiny, tiny bit. And then when you feel comfortable with that, hit the X. At this point, I can take my finger, press hold, and flatten the image. I could come in and probably add some more clouds if I wanted to. Um, let's see if I change that to overlay. If it does, kind of brightens it up a little bit. Kind of gives it that storybook feel. And I'm going to go back to masking and get some of that off the barn again. Lower that brush size just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to flatten it again. Touch, hold, flatten. At this point, I'm going to show you where you could come into the bird area. In the far right, the little suitcase. There you go. A whole bunch of new birds. We um, did a pack, a base, the second one called Birds Like Snow. This is a white bird pack that's based off um, snow geese in Northern California. And one thing that a lot of people don't know is that I have I have chased so many bird flocks to get all of these birds. These are birds that I've seen in real life and took pictures of. I've literally chased flocks down and I'll sit and watch them forever and take pictures for reference to get these um, birds and the trees. So uh, the birds like snow was actually inspired by a trip I took to California and got to watch snow geese for days so little tip that some a little bit of trivia people don't know about I'll go ahead and pick the scattered birds you can take your fingertips and pinch them to make them bigger or smaller I always try to tell people make them look realistic you don't want that to be your main subject I'm gonna hit the check mark and guess what I can come in with that masking tool and I can even if I want to take away some of the birds to make them even more realistic and not like, you know, a lot of times um, I can tell when people are using the app because of the birds. Well, if you come in and change them a little bit now, erase a couple away, they'll be more unique to, um, to you and your artwork. So if I click that, and then I'm gonna hit flatten one more time and that, I think, is it for now. If I click the top, um, the square with the up arrow, it'll allow me to email this or download it to my phone, save. I'm gonna hit save. Now it's asking me, it was saved to my camera roll. Would you like to share it on Instagram and tag it to stress FX? At this point, I'm gonna hit dismiss, but I would like to encourage you to hit share on Instagram and make sure you hashtag it DistressedFX. I look at almost every single photo. I really try to look at all of them. And um, one, it just brings me complete joy to see all the incredible and different artwork on Instagram made with the app. It's just, there are no words to um, describe how happy it makes me. and. If we like one of your photos, I like one, or the person that helps me likes one, we'll go ahead and feature it. And uh, there's a really great community of people that use the app, and we'd love for you to be a part of it. So, And that's it for right now. Thank you so much, and if you have any questions, you can email me at distressedtextures at gmail.com. You can leave a comment here in comments, and please subscribe to the Distressed Textures YouTube channel for future presentations and demos and tutorials. Thank you.